Turkey seeks partners for TFX fighter program amid fiscal uncertainty Ankara, Turkey. The first aircraft of Turkey's indigenous fighter program, the TFX, sits in a hangar ahead of its maiden flight at the end of the year. But fiscal problems could stand in the way of its success, according to an analyst, even as the country's president seeks partners for the program. The Turkish economy is experiencing high inflation, and the country's external debt reached nearly $476 billion in March. The international insurance company Allianz Trade reported the stock of total external debt due within the next 12 months has risen to about $250 billion. Inevitably, the TFX program will face financial difficulties in line with the country's economic situation, Oscar Xe, a defense analyst in Ankara, told Defense News. However, Turkey is seeking foreign partners, which could lessen its own financial burden in regard to the program. Turkish Defense Minister Yasar Guler said August 14 Pakistan was about to sign an agreement to participate in the development of the fifth-generation fighter. Friendly and brotherly countries are also making efforts to become partners in this project. An agreement was signed with Azerbaijan. There are other countries that are also about to sign, like Pakistan, Guler said. If Pakistan joins the Turkish program, it would be its second international fighter partnership following a deal with China on the JF-17 built by Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and Chengdu Aircraft Corp. As for Azerbaijan, the government there signed a protocol with Turkey to explore involvement in the TFX program. With the protocol, it is aimed to determine the working procedures and principles of cooperation with Azerbaijan on joint production issues, including the development activities of the fifth-generation National Combat Aircraft Khan, which is being developed for the Turkish Air Force, according to the Turkish Defense Industry Agency, using the government's chosen name for the TFX aircraft. The agency, otherwise known as SSB, did not reply to Defense News questions on the TFX and specifically Pakistan's current status in relation to the program. Future flight the government wants to fly the planned aircraft this year, the centennial of the Turkish Republic. Turkish Aerospace Industries said the TFX will fly December 27, 2023. Under the program, Thai will deliver 20 TFX Block 10 aircraft to the Air Force in 2028. The company said in March the per unit price will be $100 million, but noted in May it could be a little bit higher. By 2029, Thai plans to produce two TFX fighters per month, generating an annual revenue of $2.4 billion. In all probability, the aircraft will fly for political purposes before critical local elections in March, but without most systems fitted into it, a program insider told Defense News on the condition of anonymity fearing prosecution for discussing the subject. Most Turks will not know or care if the aircraft is ready for any mission. It will be a piece in the government's show-off. Turkey launched the TFX program in 2009. In October 2016, British firm Rolls-Royce offered a joint production partnership to Turkey with a view to powering planned Turkish platforms and potential sales to third parties. The company's proposal, which still stands, would see a production unit in Turkey manufacture engines for the TFX as well as helicopters, tanks and missiles. In January 2017, the British company Bay Systems and Thai signed a deal worth more than £100 million US $127 million, to develop the Turkish fighter jet. Presently there are about 30 Bay engineers working at the Thai production unit for the TFX. Turkey wants to use the F-110 in serial production, but powering the TFX with the engine may prove difficult because serial production could require vast amounts of investment and tests. Turkey wants to use the F-110 in serial production, but powering the TFX with the engine may prove difficult because serial production could require vast amounts of investment and tests. Furthermore, this option would come with the same export license and intellectual property rights as Rolls-Royce's offer, which the Turkish government dislikes. XE said the government shouldn't delay its engine choice any longer. Every engine proposal has advantages and disadvantages. Ankara must make a decision at once before it's too late to move on to the serial production phase at feasible costs, he explained. Ultimately, the TFX's export potential is key to the program's success, XE added. There are several countries that cannot buy Western-made aircraft for political reasons. 
Some of those countries also want to avoid Russian or Chinese-made aircraft, also for political reasons. The Khan could be what they're looking for. Source, Defense News.